Okay, I'll summarize. Captain Drake couldn't resist his passion for playing cards and, against your advice, went back to Smuggler's Cove and played cards with the pirates. In the process, he lost everything he had with him, including the compass he inherited from his father. Which we need to get that damn cure. Yeah, that's the way it is. So what do we do now? We go and ask what the price is for the compass. Pirates are not be trifled with. My mother always warned me not to go to Smuggler's Cove. Well, it's not a place for children, right? But we are all adults here. So are the pirates. It must be possible to negotiate with them. They are pulling the wool over your eyes. You don't need to expect pity from them. Right. That's why we should have an ace up our sleeve when we pay them a visit. How about those fairies I told you about yesterday? Oh my goodness, you always with these fairies. Well, I'd say... Let's talk to your friend and hear what she says. Welcome back, Ravens, to Die Bound. I'm super, super excited to finally bring this episode to you. It was a lot of work, but it turned out quite good. So look forward to some great fun. Today, we will build something really, really big. As you just heard, our friends from Angler's Rest have to barter with the pirates. And for that, we need to work on smugglers Cove, which is a really, really amazing build. You will surely like it. But before we jump into it, I just wanted to thank you all for all this amazing support this year. You are so, so wonderful. And I'm very, very sorry for all the delays, but I need to put my health and family first. I hope you understand that and I hope you do so for yourself as well. I really, really recommend that to you. But now, stop waffling around, Raven, and let's get to work. Do you have a moment for me? I have something to show you. What is it? Not here. Come with me. Dracula's behavior worried me, and when we arrived at the wine cellar, I was very concerned too. The greenish-blue tendrils had spread, traces of them were everywhere in the small room, and the strange pulsation that ran through them made them seem more like veins than wines. Erin and I regularly move these things, twice a day by now. There is no stopping it. We desperately desperately need this cure. Do you think this will go away with it? We are talking about turning Ben and Walter back. It's not a weed killer. A brute mother. You mean the stuff is coming from her? Because she's infected too? Yes, and we have to help her. She saved Erin. Now I have to save her. So for building Smuggler's Cove, I have looked out a spot over here and believe me or not this is something i had in mind from the beginning of this season on daybound because i found this very very nice build and immediately thought that that would fit into this spot perfectly so this is where we built smuggler's cove at least the building and the cove itself i think is this thing behind us i haven't actually thought about this in detail to be honest i was so excited about the build <laughs> so yeah uh well we figured that out afterwards there will probably have to be some terraforming going on here i i didn't look into that yet so if we look at this here you can see there's a lot of stone in the way and obviously i said it will be a big build so this has all to go you know this 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 stone here is in the way it's really big this house you know Believe me, it is big, so we will need to get rid of this. Agnot's friend lived in Everland, and as soon as it came into view, I knew that fairies must live here too. Colorful flowers grew everywhere along the pretty little path, and the most whimsical little houses stood in the small village. Agnot had it for one that looked like a huge lantern, and in front of it stood a small, graceful woman who waved at us as soon as she saw Hagnet. Hagnet, how nice to see you! You haven't been here for such a long time. I'm sorry, Olive. I've been very busy, and even now I'm afraid I've come to see you for a reason. What is it? Oh, where are my manners? Come on in. That's better. Now, tell me what's bothering you. Captain Drake lost his compass to the pirates while playing cards. He is very, very sad about it, and we want to get it back. 
And how can I help you? I don't like the pirates at all. They have horrible manners. Well, you once told me that your fairies can help you if you have lost something. Oh, <laughs> no, my dear. I'm afraid it doesn't work like that. They only fetch the same things. If I give them a carrot, they fetch me all the carrots that are lying around. But this compass is probably unique, so you can't show them what to look for. Besides, they don't let themselves be abused for theft. Their chiming is much too loud. Any pirate would immediately know what's going on. Sorry, Hagnet. As much as I would like to help you, I can't. When we have been at Markcraft's base on Kazuya Island, I missed out on showing his awesome builds and I had to make up for it in the next video. This time, I don't want to do that. I will show you Magpiecraft's amazing base right away. So this room you already know. This is where the stranger and Hagnot and Olive have talked about the fairies. It's inside the amazing lantern. You've seen that in the video. Upstairs is this really, really cute bedroom. Don't you want to have such a bedroom as well? I want to. I want to. This is so, so cute. And on the ground level, there is a little kitchen and working area inside this wonderful lantern. Now, all this area here has originally been a vanilla village. Most of us had occupied one of these houses. Here you can see that was Swami's shack. And we started to transform them into what we needed it. And at the end, Backpack Craft decided to stay here and to transform all the houses into something really, really different. She started out with this one over here, which shall be some kind of squash. I'm sorry, magpie, I forgot what it was exactly. I know it wasn't a squash, but something similar. But nevertheless, it is just so cute and it's looking so good. Have a look inside. This was Salty's original house and this is what magpie did with it. Awesome. She added all the pathways and little details like this area here with the little fountain. And over here we have Hoodie's old shack. Magpie transformed it into this house. Oh my, this is amazing too. I can't decide which one is the one I love most. This house was actually inhabited by a warden for some time because Hoodie and Rabbit wanted to prank Magpie and, and brought a warden over here. And later on, because Magpie loved Mr. Huggles, that was the name of the warden, to stay in her storage area. Let's have an actual look inside. It was closed up with glass, so you could see the warden live inside. And we had some noise-making machines in there, but still Mr. Huggles went around and killed people who tried to open chests, which honestly is quite a good thing to keep people from stealing stuff. But obviously Magpie Craft did die a lot to Mr. Huggles, so at one point she decided it is really annoying to always have blindness in here and being in fear of certain death. So Mr. Hoggles had to move again and guess where he is living now. Yes, you are right. Mr. Hoggles is the warden who lives in the hermit hut on the mountain. So actually, Mr. Hoggles is the actor for Ben in our storyline of the stranger and her friends from Anglos Rest. Now there's one last thing I wanted to show you and that is Marx's original home. Magpie Craft transformed it in some kind of mushroom and it as well is a really awesome build that I fell in love with. Look at this ceiling! I like this roof! Oh my goodness! This is so sweet as well. So this is the tour of Magpie Craft's base done. Let me know in the comments which of the houses you like most. And if you want to see more of Magpie Craft's things, then have a look at the description. There's all the links to all the day bounders. So if you have time over Christmas, go there and watch some of their videos. They're doing awesome, awesome stuff. For now, let's head back through our amazing portal that we built last time. Look at this. I really, really like it still. And I think I never have shown you this, did I? I think I've talked about this and said I need to think about how that should look like. So this is what it is. It is just this little, little entrance room. And I mimicked inside the portal from the nether side. That way the portal is hidden away safely within the mountainside. I really, really like that. That purple looks so good with the 
green grass and moss and stuff outside. I love it! I love it so much! But Magpiecraft's amazing base is just mind-boggling. We were both very sad on the way home. But it wasn't just that we no longer had an ace up our sleeve that worried us. Did you see the green bluish spots everywhere? Yes, I did. Where does that stuff come from? I have no idea. It's spreading everywhere now. What do you mean? Um, oh, uh, I don't know. It reminded me of my dream. Hello, you two. Where are you coming from? We went to Avalon to ask Olive about the fairies. And? It doesn't work. We'd need the same compass again so the fairies would know what to look for. Crap. But come inside. I'll show you something. Here. A whole cauldron of potion. Once we have the echo shard, I can finish the remedy and we can cure Ben and Walter and whoever else is afflicted with it. Now that we have this big hole here, we can finally start to build Smuggler's Cove. And for that, we need a ton of resources. So let's head back to our storage area. I've already prepared a bunch of shulkers, as you can see. So let's have a look. A bunch of stone, you never know what you need as a building block. Sand, warp planks and copper. A lot of spruce, of course. You know me, I love spruce. Another bunch of sand stone blocks and yeah, some dark oak stuff and a bit of science stuff. So yep, this will be a pretty pretty build. Let's grab all of these and head back over there. Oh, there you see. Jeez, this is a big hole. <laughs> well, not really probably. We've done bigger things already. Now, uh, okay, well, I should put my stuff somewhere over here, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, looks good. Put all of these down. There we go. And then let's start the build. Smuggler's Cove was an impressive building. The smuggling business seemed to be doing well in this area. Or well, did the wells come from running the gambling den? Whatever it was, these pirates were clearly very successful. It took us some time to make our way to the pirate Captain Drake had playing cards with. He was sitting at one of the back tables and had obviously just finished his lunch. When we arrived, he looked up. Hey, uh, what brings you two jokers here? You don't look like the usual clientele of Smuggler's Cove. Are you Treasure Harry? Who wants to know? I am Dragvar, the innkeeper of the Candy Crack in Angler's Rest. I'm here on business. Oh, are you? <laughs> well then, I wonder what business that might be. I want an item back that a friend lost here. <laughs> We are not a lost property, mate. <laughs> Go home, old man. It's a compass. The pirate became abruptly serious. You want that captain's compass back? It's going to cost you. It is done! I have completed the build of the Smuggler's Cove and as you can see the entrance needs some terraforming here but that will be done in another episode. For now let's have a look inside. This is the pirate's pub with the gambling den. This is also where Treasure Harry had sat back here. And there's a lot of room to play and eat and drink and have fun as a pirate. And I think pirates probably enjoy this little restaurant in their hideout. Unfortunately, this is the only room I actually made interior for. If we go up this not really safe staircase, you can see there's nothing done in there. And there's even holes in the ceiling because, yeah, all those rooms up there are still empty because I hadn't enough time. But we can go out here and have a look out from the tower, which is really cool. Besides, we can go out here over the bridge. We went over the bridge some seconds ago, 
there but there's a lower floor of the bridge too and it leads into this tower and again all these floors are still empty i think this is where the pirates can keep all their treasures what they get from the gambling den and from their ship hunts and then you can get out of here and there's again another look out for the pirates so before i end this episode i just want to remind you that there won't be a lot of videos over the christmas holidays because yeah i need some time out with family and friends so the next day bond video will be probably out there near mid end of january but until then you can go and watch my new world hunt this series there might be some extra videos in between so i hope you have enjoyed this video if so please hit the like button and make sure to watch the next one until then thanks for watching